Running Facebook WhatsApp ad is one of my strongest recommendations to small business or local businesses because of the growing popularity of WhatsApp and how much people now use the WhatsApp messaging app. In fact, there are many businesses that have built a successful business purely on the different WhatsApp marketing strategies. In this straightforward Facebook ad tutorial, I will walk you through the process of running an effective Facebook WhatsApp ad using simple but powerful Facebook WhatsApp ad campaign strategies to up your WhatsApp marketing game and bring highly valuable customers and clients to your business using the Facebook ad. Even if you're a beginner, I have you covered. Nothing will be strange to you when you finish this simple step-by-step -step Facebook ad creation process. Though this video is as idiot-proof as possible, but just if you have any question for me, then I'll be willing to respond. Just drop them in the comment section below. So let's get started with our Facebook WhatsApp hard setup. So here, I'm in my Facebook account and I hope you can also navigate your way up here. All you have to do is to log in through business.facebook.com, click all tools, add account. But just in case you have a brand new account, I mean an account that you've never used to run and had before, or you cannot guarantee if your Meta Business account is correctly set up for hard so you don't encounter issues like getting banned or getting your account restricted in future, then check out the video where I use a brand new Facebook account to demonstrate the updated and correct way to set up what we call your meta business asset which include your hard account and other relevant assets to run seamless and successful Facebook ads. I will also leave the link to this video in the description box. I think you should check it up. Set up your hard account correctly and you will be ready to run your WhatsApp hard and then we can continue setting up our WhatsApp hard from here. So create. Now. Before we begin our hard setup, you know that Facebook hard structure is divided into three levels and indeed all social media ad follows similar setup pattern. The first level is called the campaign level. Here is where you will set up the type of hard that you want to run. We refer to it as the campaign objective. As you can see here, in the most recent updated Facebook setup, this campaign objective has six in number. They used to be more than this in the whole dashboard, but Facebook has helped us to condense them into six. I'm assuming that your own account is not displaying the whole dashboard. So here, because we want to run a WhatsApp house to get customers to our WhatsApp contact, we will only have the opportunity to pick any three of these six objectives, which are any of the traffic, engagement, or sales objective. Sales objective is usually the one I would suggest the most, but then it may not be good for you if you're a beginner. Any of the other two will still serve you well. The major reason why you may not be able to use the sales objective would be that you don't yet have a pixel set up on your Facebook account, or you have it but it's still too technical for you to understand how it works or how it's being used. And if you don't have a website, you will not be able to set up a pixel for your hard account. So, irrespective of whether you are a beginner or not, if you already have a pixel set up and active on your hard account, then pick the sales ad. But if you don't have a website and so you don't have a pixel on your Facebook ad account yet or you are just not sure, then I will suggest you keep things simple and follow me as I pick the engagement objective. Don't worry, it will still serve you well. I will be showing you more about the other five objectives in later videos, so I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this channel so that you can get to see these videos when I release them. You will love the decision to do so, as you will see. I do my best to make sure I keep things simple so that you can easily follow through and get results. So I will pick out the engagement objective here, scroll down, click the drop down arrow. Okay. Here we will give our campaign a name, but before we do that, you will also notice the ad set and the ad options here. We will just give them a name that makes sense to the kind of ad that we want to create. Give yours any name, but since this is just a demonstration video, I will go ahead and name my demo campaign. Demo ad set. Demo ad. 
continue great so i am in my demo campaign proper right now how sh i got my spelling wrong okay good special hard category here you will have to specify if your hard fall under what facebook has classified as a special ad category so if your hard fall under credit card employment of any sort political hard or housing you will have to select it here if you don't you will run into problem with facebook and that is exactly what you don't want to see happen to your hard accounts but anyways most of us will not fall into any of these categories so i will skip it and scroll down campaign detail you want to leave it at auction this just means that you will be bidding with other advertisers and you will be charged accordingly don't worry about the details just leave it at default auction and move on here we already picked the engagement objective you remember so we scroll down campaign spending limits again don't touch this unless you know exactly what you're doing advantage campaign budget well you can either leave this on or off what it means is that if you're going to be running multiple ads from your split ad set, then Facebook will help you apportion your ad spent to the best performing ad if you switch it on, which is the best decision than wanting to do it manually. But if everything I just said does not make any meaning to you, then just simply leave this setting off. You are safe, guaranteed. So, okay, I jump to the AB ad test split again leave that off next here we are at the ad set level we've already named our ad set before now so we're going to run our heart to whatsapp contact so leave it at the default messaging app selection leave it here at the default click to message selection here you can choose the business page that you want your ad to run from this account has only one connected Facebook page, so it is auto-selected, but in your own case, you may have more than one business page. If I click here, you will see all the connected Facebook pages and then you can select your preferred page. I have just a single page on this account, so I will continue. Yeah, we have come to an important point in this hat setup. Here, Facebook has displayed three different messaging apps that you can use to collect your ad target. We have the Messenger, the Instagram, and WhatsApp. Now, you can choose the three apps to run on your ad concurrently. But if any of them is grayed out like I have on the Instagram option, it shows that you have not connected the particular asset to your ad account and then you will have to go and do so before you can select it. Like I said, I already showed you how to connect your asset in the video I earlier told you about. It's currently displayed on your screen. Check it up if you want to connect your business assets. Also, you can connect your Instagram page here by just clicking this Connect Now tab and follow the connection steps. Once you do that successfully, then you can run this ad to your Instagram account also. But if you only want this ad to set up so that people can connect to you through WhatsApp, then untick the Instagram and Messenger option and tick only WhatsApp. Be sure to confirm your WhatsApp number. Scroll down. Here we are at the budget tab. You have the choice of picking between daily budget or lifetime budget. We go with the daily budget. It's safer for me. So the question, how much should you set for a daily ad? Honestly, the choice depends on you. Though personally, I will advise not to go for anything too little or too much, especially if you're not yet used to how Facebook ad work. Just set between $3 to $10 and so you can monitor and maybe increase your budget in future. That's another reason why the daily plan is good. So here I will choose a 2000 nigeria naira daily budget that's roughly around five dollars you can increase your budget once your heart begins to convert well when will you like your heart to start running of course set today's date and then you can either set a daily ad or run it continuously if you set a daily ad then you will need to keep reviewing it every 24 hours which is my recommendation if you're not yet used to running facebook ad 
in the alternative you can set three days a week it all depends in that case come here and tick the set and end it if you want the heart to keep running until when you like to stop it then untick this boss okay for this audience tab just keep it we don't need it for now okay now another very important aspect of the ad set is picking your location i mean the location where you want to target your audience mine is set at default on my country of residence if you want to change to another country or pick multiple countries over here and click edit select your country another interesting aspect of the location feature is that if you don't want to run your ad to the whole country say you want to pick just a particular state or even a neighborhood within a particular city then you can also do that so here i will cancel and pick lagos Then, if I don't want to run my ad to the whole of Lagos, I can narrow even further down and pick, for example, Ikeja. Also, if I really don't want this ad to go outside Ikeja, I will come to this drop down and narrow this 25 miles further down so that the chance of my ad going outside of Ikeja becomes very slim. But be careful while setting this restriction. It is only good if you're running a local business that is very neighborhood specific. If not, you will be reducing the opportunity for your ad to reach more potential clients, customers or targets. So be careful while doing this. Here you also have the different option to select people living in or recently in this location and the others. But I will leave mine here at people living in this location. If you want to add more locations, go ahead and do so. Once you're okay with your settings, scroll down. Okay, age and gender are pretty straightforward. So go ahead and select as appropriate. Language, I will leave it at all language. Placement, you can either go with the advantage placement or the manual placement. I recommend that you leave your ad on advantage placement. Here, Facebook will place your ad on all these platforms such as Facebook feed, your story, audience network and so on but if you don't want your ad just everywhere select the manual placement and choose where you will prefer that your ad should be displayed once you're done with this leave every other thing and click next so now we are at the final level which is the ad level so you remember that we gave our hard name as demo ad we already selected our facebook page at the ad set level Again, we've sorted the Instagram issues already. Here at the ad setup, the single image or video option has been auto-selected for us, which is okay. So it means that you should have either your image or video ready for your ad. If you choose carousel as the name go, it means that you can upload and use multiple images which people can scroll through on your ad. We'll keep this things simple in this tutorial and here I will select the image option. You can also use video. Click upload and click the folder where your image or video is on your computer. Upload. This video tutorial is not about image dimension but make sure that you use the right image dimension so you get the best ad appearance. If you want me to release a video to explain more about images and video dimensions for your Facebook ad, then let me know in the comment section. Also, please, if I'm giving you value so far, just go ahead and like this video right now. You will be supporting my channel by doing so. Also, if you are new on this channel and we love to see more videos like this, then why not hit the subscribe button and turn on the alert notification so you get to know when I release important marketing videos like this so i'll use the original dimension and as you can see your hard preview here tick this you might need to use different dimensions for other placements here but if you use the manual placement option at the ad set level then you should have less of problems like this so this is what your hard image creative will look like Here you have to type in your hard test. I made a video where I shared a fatal error that most advertisers make when it comes to preparing their Facebook 
ad creatives i think you should see this video before designing your ad image recording your ad video and writing your ad test i will leave the link to that video in the description the tip i shared in that video will help you get more than 100 percent more results with your facebook ad so here i will just paste a random hard test here for this demonstration i can come here view more and here is what my heart will appear like on the facebook home feed here's what your header will look like let me see it in the actual heart i can also change this header or add more text to it Here at call to action, I can leave it at send WhatsApp message or pick anyone here which is most appropriate to your heart. Here we have some preset message template that we can use to run our heart on WhatsApp. These are messages that your customers will see automatically once they click your WhatsApp chat button. If I want to use this existing template, I can edit it to meet my taste. I can delete the FAQs if I don't want or need one for my customers. I can also add more FAQs. Here, you would have noticed sometimes that when you click add, automatic messages can be sent to you. Here is where you can set it up, save and finish. And if you want to create your own message template from scratch, you can also choose this option. Okay, leave every other thing as it is and now your WhatsApp heart is very much ready to run. Congratulations! So come over here when you know everything is set up correctly and then click the green publish button. Once you do, your heart will be submitted and within a few minutes, Facebook should review your ad and hopefully if everything is done correctly, your heart will be approved and it will go live. Also, if you don't want to publish it yet, you can just close the heart and it will be saved as draft until when you're ready to launch this ad so this is the correct way to run facebook whatsapp ad like a pro but sincerely there are several other things that you should get used to as you get more familiar with running facebook ad i will keep publishing interesting videos that show you how to do many of these things which obviously can't be exhausted in a single video so make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet and turn on the alert notification so you get to know when i publish these important videos thanks for watching and see you in the next one